Good morning. Welcome to day number four of our journey down to the lower 48. Here's a spot where we ended up last night. A beautiful view out the front. It was pretty peaceful throughout the night. We slept pretty good. And now we've got about 800 miles left to go, which means it'll probably be about two days before we cross into Washington State. But it's basically a straight shot south. Maybe we'll find spring at some point. That would be nice, wouldn't it? All right, let's hit the road. Have a little bit of fun along the way. As we enter day four of our journey south, we'd like to address a question many of you have asked in our comments below. As of today, we have traveled 2,192 miles and we have spent $819.36 in diesel, $31 on diesel exhaust fluid, and $250 on food that we purchased in Alaska before we left, and $0 on lodging. We'll continue to update you on those costs as we move forward. And while we leave Alaska, this time of year isn't the most ideal time to travel by road. We didn't have a choice on the timing. Traveling along the Trans-Canadian Highway along the Fraser River, past Bridal Veil Falls and onto the border crossing in Sumas, Washington. The road conditions continued to remind us of our Alaskan adventures as we gained in elevation. Despite the unpredictable driving conditions, this area was incredibly beautiful and serene. Ember had been enjoying her rest stop romps and pretty much sleeps the entire time we drive and I used this time to journal and express thoughts which were quickly turning into a Canadian blur. Every day, like a race with time and daylight. Stopping only for fuel and driving over 500 miles a day, bypassing all the wonderful places we have dreamed of exploring and recalling my childhood days of exploring Canada with my parents as I pulled fish out of Heart Lake and took pictures with the wood carvings in the cute little town of Chilliwack. So this we have to do about every thousand miles if you didn't already know that. And it hasn't been hard to find.
As the sun went down, we pushed on until our eyes got sleepy, and we found a forest service road to turn down and snuggle ourselves in for the night. These long driving days have us bypassing all of that which we have looked forward to when the world is normal again, and we can once again spend time together in peace and unity. And this is where we're calling home for the night. Good morning and welcome to day five. We're out here on a forest service road and we tucked back in here last night so that today could be shower day. So we took showers this morning, we had our coffee, played with Ember for a little while, and now it's about time to hit the road. We're about 250 miles from the border and if all goes well, we're gonna cross over today and be in Washington tomorrow, which means we can start editing some videos and getting them uploaded. We've been really bad about doing that, even though we keep saying we will, but we're on a tight timeline to get through Canada. They gave us a very short window to drive through, which we're grateful for. Now it's time to continue our journey. Day five had us eager to cross back into the United States to find fresh vegetables and a grocery store. And this final stretch was another hard goodbye to this beautiful country and the exciting energy of another border crossing ahead.
back in the USA. That was easy. That was the easiest border crossing I think we've ever made. Yeah. It was uh, really smooth. <laughs> he just looked at our passports and was like, all right, have a good day. Yeah, asked if we bought anything in Canada, how many days we stayed here. That was it? Yep. So what happened when you went inside? Did they say anything? Uh, when I went to check out, they asked where we stayed, um, where we crossed, and crossed into Canada. That's about it. And she wanted to see your passport. She came out, she checked my passport. Ooh. Burgers and brew. <laughs> <laughs> We're free, babe. Oh, yeah, we can actually. I think we can do what we want now. <laughs> Safely, of course, right? <laughs> I don't see nothing. It's green again. Green again. Normalcy. <laughs> so we, we blasted through Canada in four days and did the right thing and stayed at truck stops and just one boondocking spot just down a forest road and now we're back in the USA. It feels good. It feels really good. As much as we love Canada, it's just that, you know, we we knew that we just had to follow the rules and just our goal is to find spring. I asked Jim yesterday what we were going to do and he said, we're going to find spring, but we went up over the mountain passes and we found snow. And our goal is to just keep driving south and find warm weather. But you know what? You know what sounds really, really, really good? It's food. Driving the past four days and really not stopping to have meals like we're used to was also a challenge. And right now my body just needs vegetables. We also need to find Ember a river or a lake or somewhere where she can swim. These rest stops and throwing her ball, just she needs to let off some energy. So let's see what happens next.
The road ahead of us continues as we head towards our final destination. Along the way, we continue to explore the most remote and unique places we can find. Thank you for coming along with us on this whirlwind of a journey. Be sure to like and subscribe, and until we see you again, stay happy, healthy, and safe. We'll see you again soon.